Welcome back to Soda City Live. The Lower Richland High School Alumni Foundation is gearing up to host their annual Black and Gold Gala this year with the theme Diamonds in the Sky. Joining me today in the studio with more is Communications Chair with Lower Richland High School Alumni Foundation, Robert Reese and Co-Chair April Griffin. And I'm so grateful to have the two of you joining us today to share the details about this annual gala. Um, but I want to say, I heard a rumor, you guys have the best alumni association around. <laughs> yes, is it we true? do. We Sure. You, you know, it's so funny to me um, being from the area. Every time I hear anything about there being any type of alumni event, it's always Laura Richland. You guys are always showing out. You have your, uh, it's the Diamond Fest. The you, Diamond Fest. Yeah, have we have so the Diamond Fest. We have a big tailgating event that happens at the homecoming of each year. Yep. And then we have this Black and Gold Gala, which is our signature event mm -hmm. that we have each year. But our alumni association is an opportunity for us to really provide opportunities for the students in the areas, for us to really sort of work on um, helping them with their academic achievement, and really is an opportunity for the alumni to get to give back. And this is the best way to do that. And we use these funds for scholarships, uh, for teachers grants, and for other activities that we can support and help the students within the schools in the cluster. And you know, the involvement um, of everyone that is a part of the associate or the foundation, it really speaks volumes to the type of school Lower Richland mm -hmm. is because you have students from different generations, different years. Um, let's first, let's tell them what year you graduated. I graduated in the great <laughs> class of 1986. <laughs> in April yourself? I graduated 2006. So you got about a 20 year gap yeah. there, 10 year, 20 year gap. Can't do math, that's why I'm a journalist. <laughs> <laughs> but it, it just speaks volumes, you know, the, the what type of school this was because you have people from different um, years that are still coming back and, and making sure they're giving back to the uh, to the school. Are there what, what was it about Lower Richland that that makes you want to keep supporting? Well, it's interesting. We start with the class of 1973. And so the class from 1973 into the classes that are last year. But for me, I went away, moved away, lived in Atlanta, lived in Minneapolis, and then I'm coming back home. And this is an opportunity for me to give back to a school that gave me so much mm. and the school is kind of the central body of our community so we've got these different communities Hopkins, Gadsden, right. Eastover and East Columbia mm. but Lower Richland is the thing that really unifies our entire community so the school is an opportunity for us to sort of really find a way to centralize our support and our giving back to the school that gave us so much. I love it and what way do the proceeds from the events that you all host help students? Well, for the past six years, we've given out over $50,000 worth in scholarships um, from the Lower Richland Alumni Foundation. And a lot of those proceeds come from our ticket sales from the Black and Gold Gala, which is our signature fundraising event. And then we also give teacher grants as well. Um, this past year, we've given out, I want to say, six $1,000 scholarships. And it dates back for the past, like I say, six years. And just like I said, we've given out over $50,000 scholarships. And a lot of our students, They've finished out their four years. They've either gone to grad school or either some that have moved on. We even have one recipient. Of course, now she just graduated from North Carolina A&T. And guess what? She has a big job in tech in, wow. in, da in Dallas. So she'll be moving there this year. And so it's nice to see the impact yeah. that the foundation has. And when we have this ev these events and raise those funds, it's good to see the good it actually does. I love that. Yeah. Now, I want to ask this. Do you have to be an alum in order to support the gala or be a you part of the gala? You do not. You do not. It is open to the public. Um, you don't have to be an alumni. You can just be someone that, of course, loves Laura Richland. Because whenever I go someplace, someone says, April, where'd you graduate? I proudly say Laura Richland High School. And of course, they know about Laura Richland High School. So it's open to the public. Uh, we have some wonderful entertainment that will be there. So if you want a night on the town just to dress up and lay your hair down and dance a little bit, but also celebrate our alumni, come out. We'll have Level 10, which is a phenomenal band that came last year. And guess what? Our folks said, you know what? Bring them back because we want to hear them again. I love it. Yes. Let's I, get those details for them. I do want to say yeah. also there's a way to sponsor the event. Okay. So yes. I know that'll be in the information that you'll be sharing. Okay, perfect. Well, if someone is an alum of uh, Laura Richland and they want to get involved because you guys have such an amazing mm -hmm. foundation there, how can they get in touch with you and how can they do so? The best thing will be to, to go to our website. It's lralumni.org and there's a contact us page there. And so the best thing will be to fill out that contact us form. Let us know your name and the class that you graduated from. 
leave your email address and a cell phone number and we'll be sure to reach out to you.